Hello again, this is Mark Summers from Summers Technical Services. We're going to go over some uh, RF cable routing. We're going to use a cable routing module in SOLIDWORKS to route some SMA uh, RF connectors, RF cables. And so what I've got here is a truncated version of our chassis assembly. It's got the connectors on the front panel and this switch. And so first thing we need to do is make sure we've got our <clears throat> SMA connector model in our design library. So I've opened up the design library here. And I need to add a folder to tell SOLIDWORKS where to go to find these RF cable components. And so I want to go into my folder here where I've got all my components. I want to make a new folder called RF cable. And I put it right here in my component folder. I'm going to go find my SMA part, cut it, and then drop it inside this new cable folder. So now I need to tell SolidWorks where that file is from my design library. And so I'm going to uh, go to Options. <coughs> I'm going to go to uh, System Options. And I'm going to go to File Locations. And I'm gonna, this is where we did our document templates earlier in the semester. I'm gonna pull this down and go to Design Library. And I've already got a pointer going to a folder on my C drive with some uh, Series 10 extrusions that I've already put in there. I wanna add another folder. And now this is where I go browse over and find that folder. So I go to Documents, uh, go to our class here, go to Assignment 11. Go to Models, Components, there's that new folder. So that's the folder I want to add. So I'm going to say Select Folder. And now it's on the list, and I'll say OK. <clears throat> yes, I want to make the change. Now when I come over here, I've got a new folder in my design table. <coughs> in my design library, excuse me. And if I open it up, there's the part right there. So I'll use that in a minute. So that's step one. Step two is to make sure you have the cable routing module loaded. And I'm seeing it right here, electrical. There's electrical routing, there's piping, and there's tubing. So I've already got it loaded. If you don't see your electrical tab on your SOLIDWORKS installation, go to Tools, <coughs> scroll all the way to the bottom, and go to Add-ins and make sure the cable routing module is checked to turn on this checkbox will turn it on when you start SOLIDWORKS and this one will turn it on always at startup so I've got mine turned on to turn on all the time so make sure that's turned on and when you do that you'll see this electrical tab so now I think we're ready to start running our cables so I'm going to come over here oh, one more thing before we get started we're going to take advantage of, and I've already done this on these models, but you'll need to know uh, what I'm doing here so you can use it in the future when you make your own design library. I'm adding something called a mate reference to all of the parts that I need to mount these cables to. I don't have to do this, but it's just going to make the installation much easier. So let's go look at this uh, connector part model. I'm going to open up this assembly. <coughs> And in the tree, the top of the tree on the part model, or this part assembly, for this connector, there's a folder called Mate References. And I've already added this, and I call these SMA. To make these things work, you need the same Mate Reference name on each piece that you're mating together. And so this one's called SMA Mate Reference, and I just predefine primary reference, secondary reference, so that it's going to automatically choose those as my mates for the two parts. And so this is already done on the components I'm giving you. I just wanted to show you where this comes from. So I've got one on uh, this uh, assembly, this, uh, this uh, SMA connector. And I've also got one on the SMA nut itself, this part over here. And I've also got one on this uh, switch, on these SMA connectors on this switch, these four SMA connectors. So those are already set. I just wanted to show you 
where those were in case you wanted to add them to other parts later. So now I think I'm ready to go. And what I do is I drag this SMA connector over to the connector I want it to connect to. So I want to click and hold. I'm going to drag it over here. I'm not going to let go of it. I want to get close to one of these connectors. Watch what happens. See it snap? Now it snapped in the wrong orientation, so I still haven't let go of it yet. I want to hit my tab button, and it toggles the mate. It flips the alignment of the mate every time I hit tab. So I'm going to let, I'm going to let it go right there, and that's my first SMA connector. And then it's going to go in <coughs> and ask me some questions about my routing properties. And I think I make this outer diameter 0.14. That's the outer diameter of the harness <coughs> on these SMA connectors. And it gives it some predefined names. I'll just use these defaults. And there's lots of different options in here. We're not going to have time to go over. But uh, keep all those options. I'll make that 0.14. And then I say OK. So that defines the route properties for all of these cables I'm fixing to route. Now what it does is ask me if I want to auto route, auto route. Well, I'm not ready to auto route yet because I need another SMA connector down here. So I'm going to say I'm not ready to auto route now, so I'm going to get out of here. I'm still inside this cable harness. See this cable harness in blue here? It automatically activates and names and gives me this new harness number. So I'm in the assembly mode for this assembly here, and I'm going to drag another connector in here to make the uh, other end of this cable connection. So I'm going to click and hold on this SMA connector again, drag it in, and I'm going to take it down here toward this other connector. And again, when I get close, see it snap? And if I want to toggle it, I go tab, back and forth. Once I get it where I want it, I carefully hold it still and let go of it. And it's going to ask me if I want another connector. I can place another one if I want. Say I had a cable that was going from one and splitting going into two separate ones. I could do that. I could keep adding these SMA connectors. In my case, I've only got one cable with one SMA connector on each end. So I'm going to say I'm done inserting components. So I want to get out of here. Now I'm going to go to auto route. And all I do is select the blue dot over here. Is predefined and I click the blue dot down here and I say okay so there's my first cable extremely easy to do I want to get out of the assembly go back to the top level and there's my cable uh, I gotta go back to the top level assembly Okay, so here I go. Uh, sometimes the graphics card loses its way and it's not drawing the cable there, but it's there. There's a cable harness right there. Now if I want to, say I have to move these switches back a little bit. Well, I can do that, I think. Do I have not made it out of the way? Let's see. Oh, I've got to turn off one of these mates. I went ahead and mated it. Let's turn this mate off right here. Okay, so now they're loose to move forward and back. And if I drag this connector, or excuse me, if I drag this switch back, you say, well, now I need to remake my cables. Well, no, they're all parametric. So even though I move that back, if I hit the rebuild button, that wiring cable harness will automatically update. Now it's back where it was. And when I'm ready to make the next one, I just do the whole thing over again. So let's do one, let's do a couple more here, maybe, or at least one more. So I'm going to drag the SMA connector over. And I want to drag it right over here. And then toggle it. Let go. And it's going to ask me that same question again. And I want to say 140. Okay, it's going to ask me if I want to auto route, and then I say no. 
whenever it pops up. Auto route, no thank you. And now I'm just going to add another connector. Again, I'm making my second cable harness. So if you look in the tree over here, here it is right here. I'm going to click and hold and drag this guy in here. Click and hold, not let go of him. I'm going to snap it right. Not there, but there. And I'm done inserting components. So I'm going to get out of here. And now I'm ready to go to auto route right here. Click the blue dot. And click the blue dot. And say OK. So I've got lots of options. I can go edit these splines and I can route them. I can force them to route specifically through maybe a cable tray or something. Lots of different options, but this will get you started on what we're looking for. Uh, I've got to go back out of here to get out of the assembly. Now that cable's created, it's its own, its own sub-assembly. And so I just keep doing that over and over again and we'll uh, be able to uh, get all my cables in there. So again, if I pull this back and I rebuild it, it'll just reform those cables and rebuild them. So that's pretty slick. You can go back in, you can calculate the cable links and, and you can do a lot of engineering type analysis uh, once you get the model done. Okay, well that should uh, get you going on the cable routing. If you have any questions, stop by during our Zoom sessions. I'll talk to them then. Otherwise, we'll uh, see you in the next video.